Looking back on the first ever game I played as a professional footballer, this was my debut, and soon I'm going to make my debut as a manager in a different position. We've managed games in this Champions Cup preseason tournament, but once the Premier League hits, it's all going to be real, and my time to shine on the biggest stage in world football, in one of the biggest leagues in world football, is going to be here. That's coming soon, but before that, we have an offer. We have multiple offers for Riyad Mahrez, our current right wing, right midfielder. He's starting for us right now. Do I really want to let this player go? We are in negotiations with FC Barcelona. They're asking for 33 mil. Guys, to be honest, I don't want to let him go for any more than 70 mil or any less than 70 million. I know it's a lot of money to ask for Riyad Mahrez, but I don't really want to part ways with him right now at this very moment. We countered with 80 mil. They're now asking for 43 mil. Guys, I really want 70 mil at the least. We're offering 73 and they're countering with 46. If we can't get that much for him, guys, I think I want to keep him around at least till the January transfer window. I think if he has a good first half of a season, we could easily end up selling him on for more than 80 mil. So guys, the way it's looking, FC Barcelona do not want to offer over 70 million. Riyad Mahrez is going to be staying with us for the time being. And uh, with that being said, welcome back. I want to say this is episode number four of the manager mode. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you guys enjoy this series. If you guys hit a thousand likes, the next episode will be up as soon as possible. That's how I'm going to post this series. If you guys hit a thousand likes, I'll post the next episode. If you guys don't, well, then this season may be short lived. Of course, my channel is usually based around the my player career mode. So that's always going to be the first priority. Leave a like if you guys want the manager mode to be in there as well. Here's a look at our updated lineup that we're most likely going to use going in to the first game of the season. Well, not the first game of the season. Before that, that's actually the lineup for the finals of the European International Cup. We're taking on a team from Spain. And in this one, we ended up going into a penalty shootout where we lost kind of sucks because had we won that we would have had a few extra million to use in the transfer window tough loss and also another tough loss one of our starting center backs who's here on loan for this season Dragovic he's injured he's out for two months I told you guys last episode we need a new center back and now we definitely need a new center back more than ever we also got a transfer offer for gray which I'm gonna reject he's gonna be one of our main super subs this season I don't want to give him up and since we're now in need of a center back more than ever it's time to search the market i went down to the comments to see who you guys wanted you left a bunch of center back options for us to sign and here's two that i'm interested in signing the first is mina from barcelona who we're not going to be able to get and the second option is jonathan ta another player i saw was the boy they licked, I want to say, from Ajax, and unfortunately, they didn't want us to sign him either, so we're not going to be going after him. Jonathan Tal, though, was a player you guys uh, requested us to get. He's 82 rated with a potential of 88 overall. They want 31 million for him. Guys, we don't have that much money. We're going to be bumping it down to 26 million. Can we sign Jonathan Ta to be one of our starting center backs? He would be a beast in the back, guys. We offered 26 mil, and they are going to accept. Jonathan Tsa, welcome to Leicester. A new signing. I want to say that's our fourth overall signing. Welcome to the club. As you can see, we've been given a bunch more transfer offers. We get an offer for this man named Johan. We're actually going to accept that. He's 30 years old. He's never going to be playing this season. So that's an extra 3 million that's going to be added on to our transfer budget guys and now it's time the first game of the season in the premier league opening day in the premier league where we are taking on arsenal and here is what our starting lineup is gonna look like up front we have pulisic vardy and amarez we have um cyprian in the midfield few others and then jonathan ta is gonna be making his debut as well the team we're facing is gonna be arsenal this is going to be one hell of a matchup, especially because it's going to be away from home. 
what will we be able to do game day is tomorrow and as i'm at my house right now guys the nerves are real like we talked about at the beginning of the episode i've had the pleasure of going in to a first game as a player this is going to be my first time in the premier league as a manager a whole different scene guys so much pressure on myself to succeed if i for some reason have a bad first half of this season i could easily be sacked and we don't want that to happen here guys going through my nightly routine and then tomorrow we take the trip to london where we take on arsenal of course like i showed you the lineups have already been set the only question is will we win let's get into it you only want to chase the feeling again let's be friends you only need what's best for you and not them don't pretend now i the first game in the Premier League this season and look who Arsenal have signed Asensio from Real Madrid they got him for 66 million that is a crazy transfer of course he has a potential in the 90s in career mode guys so he is going to be a dangerous player to play against not only now but in the future guys of course we're gonna have to play Arsenal a ton more in various cups and then of course one more matchup later on in the Premier League starting this thing out Mesut Ozil, of all people, was in control of this game. So many chances for him early on, as you guys are going to see. But his shots were just absolutely whack. None of them even close to going in. Another chance, Arsenal once again. 30th minute, the shot taken. Schmeichel there in goal, having himself a good first half. And for us, well, that was our only highlight. Poor first half from Arsenal, I guess, or poor first half. For Leicester City, Arsenal as well though, neither team getting on the scoreboard. It is the first game of the year, a lot of players probably a little bit nervous, ready to go though. Hopefully in the second half, we can do something big and make a big play happen. 60th minute, this could be our chance, falling to the American, Pulisic. was guys we score of goal finally first goal of the year debut goal for Pulisic in the Premier League we're making some substitutions here so we can hold this thing down and get the win changing out our right back and also putting in a fresh central defensive midfielder Silva's coming out and then we're gonna move and DD to the center defensive midfield position 90th minute this game looking all but over one final chance for Arsenal check out this horrendous defending Oh my god, you have got to be kidding me. Arsenal equalized. That's 100% my fault. Terrible defending right there, guys. I tried to go in for the tackle with my last defender. And Monreal, of all people, the Spanish left back from Arsenal, puts it in. You've got to be kidding me. Schmeichel dives the wrong way. You can't blame him, though. That's all the defense's fault right there. And that was Amarte, the left back or right back, I should say, that I substituted in. But you really can't blame him either. Blame me, guys. Awful defending on my part. I got to work on that. Remember, I'm used to the player career mode. Don't really do much manager mode at all. This is the first time I've played it all year long. And um, we're going to have to settle with a 1-1 draw in this game. Only one point being picked up, I guess, against Arsenal playing here in London. That isn't the worst case scenario. But it just sucks because I know I should have won this game. We got more, though, guys, to come. That is only the first of 38 games this season in the Prem. And we're about to get into game number two straight away, guys, showing you a few changes we're going to make to the starting 11. Gray is going to start, and then Kalichi as well at the striker position. We're also going to make a change at left back, bringing 
in uh, Chowell right there. And then uh, I think I'm going to change one more player. Bora is going to be in the reserves or the substitutes for this one going in the second game of the episode of the second Premier League game of the season of the year here guys Brighton is the team it's gonna be the first home game of the year as well we want to make these home fans happy bringing them the first win of the season hopefully we'll be able to do it I think we have a little bit better of a team than Brighton are we going to end up running the Premier League, guys? Will we end up at a top four spot in the Premier League? I want you guys to put your predictions down below. Right now, where do you think we are going to finish this season in the Premier League? And then, hey, I guess it'd be cool to maybe look back at the last game of the season. And you could maybe look back at this episode and see if your guess was correct. Getting into the game, though, a chance to take the lead straight away. So we end up putting in Gray for Pulisic in this game, and it pays off. The only two goals we've scored this season have come from our left winger, and they've both come from crosses, guys. We're making it 1-0, but after this, some disappointing news. Silva, one of our new acquisitions. We didn't bring him in, but before we became manager, he was new to the club. It's going to be the Portuguese man, Silva. He comes down with an injury. He is the highest rated player, second highest rated player on the team behind Riyad Mahrez. He's injured. We're going to have to hope this isn't too serious. We're subbing him out for Ibora. Ibora's coming in, guys, and hopefully, again, it's not too serious of an injury. If it is, we're going to be hurting in that midfield this season, guys. That is it for the first half. 1-0. We have ourselves a lead, guys. I'm just hoping... We can hold this lead this time because we all know what happened in the last game. We don't want a repeat of that. Gray with the goal. That's the reason I didn't sell Gray, guys. We got offered like $10 million for him, but he's going to be such a good super sub this season and then a starter anytime we need him at the left mid slash left wing position. Here we go, guys. 1-0 get into the second half and another chance from another cross. Here we go. There it is. The lead is now 2-0. And my center back, Maguire, out of all people, puts that one in. Nice cross, guys. We set it up nicely. A pass played in. And, uh, yeah, Maguire scores that one. This time, to hold the lead, we're making changes. We want to win this thing, guys. And, uh, yeah, we can't blow it again like we did against Arsenal. So, making a few last-minute substitutions. And they would end up paying off this time. First win of the season in front of the home fans, but not before a chance from Kalichi here, guys, to put it in, and he misses. He's definitely right now fighting Jamie Vardy for the top striker position on this team. I don't know if we'll end up getting there, guys. He's still only 75 overall, but I'm just going to tell you, he's the future of this club. He's a player that I want around probably until we end this career mode. He's going to be one of the centerpieces of the team. Such a beast, guys. That is it for the game. The first one of the season it comes against the Brighton. And uh, yeah, Maguire scores. Gray scores. Should have had three. It's all good, though. Three points being picked up. That's all that matters for us. And after this game, the transfer window is coming to an end and some of my assistant coaches well they called me guys and they had some words for me yes Bogley thanks for taking my call your assistant coach I'm just letting you know that there's not much money left in the team to sign any new players so with a few weeks left in the transfer window it's your job to determine if we should sell anyone and bring any new players in because if we want to bring in new players players on the current team are gonna have to be sold I'm going to need your decision soon. Let me know. Thanks. 
So you guys heard him. It's your job to decide should we sell players and bring in new players. Let me know who we should sell and who we should buy, if any. Thanks, and we'll see you for the next episode.